Hey everyone, Jen at Ink Paper Rubber. I am back again as promised. I have some goodies to show you. I'd hoped I'd had a few more. We got some new Tim Holtz in, but I want to tell you, here is the value of pre-ordering because of the new stamp sets, I only have uh, any of the, one of the stamp sets left because you can see over there a stack of pre-orders. I always try and order extras, but we got some pre-orders um, over the weekend, and so I don't have extras of any except for one of the sets. I will be getting more in, but just a reminder, it pays to pre-order. All right, lots of other fun things to show you, though. We got some new stencils in. The Crafters Workshop has a new stencil release, and we're looking on, working on getting them in. I didn't get everything I ordered. I didn't get the full quantities of everything that I ordered, but here is what I have, and hopefully more to come soon. We have some 6x6 six six stencils. This one is called Ethereal. You can see it has the text down there, the dictionary definition for Ethereal, and this fun um, kind of cross-stitch but a little rounded pattern, and then these beautiful stars over here. I really like this one a lot. This is called Shape Landscape, and if you look, you can kind of see that. There we have kind of the triangles for trees, and maybe the dots could be a river, and then the ground down here with the straight lines. So that one is really fun. This is um, a 12 by 12. It's a new Julie Fafan Balzer design. Um, it is dashes, and you've got several different patterns on here. Um, you could see how much fun this one is. This is a new 6x6 stencil called Fantangle. It is a really fun one, and we got this one in in both the 6x6 and also the 12x12. Hey again, Miss Linda. A uh, couple other 12x12s we got in, another Balzer Designs. This one is called Fantasy Tile, and I love this one. This one is called Bubble Rebound. All the different circles on here and all the different sizes, so that one is really, really fun. We also got in some Tim Holtz stencils. His first round of releases from Stampers Anonymous is out, and we have the new stencils from that release. Uh, in the large size, we have Bubbles. That one is really fun. And there is scales. And this is fun, a little bit different than some others you may have like this. You can see how they're not all exactly the same size and shape. So it just makes it a little bit different. And finally here we have tangles. That is a really fun one. And there is also the mini stencil set that has smaller versions of those three stencils in it. Okay, I mentioned that we only have um, Leftovers from one of the stamp sets, but it is one of the best ones from this first part of the release. And this is the Snarky Cat set. And you can see you have these really adorable cats on here. They are so fun. But what I especially love, love are the sentiments on here. They are definitely snarky and so much fun. So we do have a couple of extras of that stamp set in. Uh, got a couple of dies in. Uh, got this fun one. It's Happy Birthday Balloons from Kaisercraft. And you get actually the scripty front die, and then you also get the solid background die with that. Um, well, actually, it looks like it cuts it. I thought that you did, but I guess that you don't. Or actually, maybe it might be down here in the bottom. <clears throat> I have to open that up and check. Also got this little tiny Happy Birthday in from Dress My Craft. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, one more Tim Holtz thing I wanted to mention is you can now get the alcohol blending solution in the little half ounce bottle, which is nice. And we will have the new alcohol inks coming in. He has new colors of alcohol inks as well as, oh, I can't remember what they're called, but they're kind of the metallics that add in there and are really, really amazing. We will have those come in, and if you watched Tim's video, you saw um, the importance of having alcohol blending solution. You can totally use the 91% alcohol, and in fact, Tim uh, tells you and shows you when you can use it, but especially with these new um, metallics that he has, you definitely want the blending solution. Blending solution has a resin in it, and that helps kind of seal and bind um, those metallics so that they don't just brush off your work. If all you're using is the 91% uh, rubbing alcohol, then those won't bind to there and you can actually wipe them off. But if you add a little bit of your blending solution, that resin will help bind those on there. <clears throat> 
Um, Craft Consortium. We have been getting paper pads from Craft Consortium, the big 12 by 12 paper pads, for a while, and you may recall some of them. And I am really excited that they are now coming out with 6 by 6 paper pads. And we will have some of those coming in, hopefully, next week. But uh, I did get a couple of kind of go-alongs with it. One of the paper pads that we'll be getting in is called the Emporium. And we got in washi tape for that. And this one is really fun. You can see there's uh, two large and one narrow. This one has, you can see a beetle there, and I can't tell that might be a moth there. This dark one down here has, you can see also the beetles on there. And then this one here is really fun there. It looks like it says poisonous, and I know it also says, I think, specimen on here. So some fun washi tape. And we also got in the um, Emporium wood shapes you can see here with some of the different insects and the words in there. So that'll be really fun, especially when we get in the 6x6 paper pads for that. Last thing I have to share with you is we got in some more Versafine Clear inks. Um, if you've watched my videos or taken classes, you know how much we love this ink. And I got in, except for one color, I got in some colors that we have not had in before, kind of trying to uh, finish out the collection. You can see here, I did get in more of the black because that is very, very popular. This is a pigment ink. It's a pigment ink that actually dries fairly quickly, although it is embossable. And it is waterproof. And you can see what wonderful coverage. This is a solid rubber stamp. And as I've mentioned before, this was not stamped with the Misty. This was just on a block. So that is stamped just a single time. And you can see what a wonderful image you get with that. And the new colors that we got in, I'm sorry I don't have any swatches for you. I will make some up and have them here in the store. We got in this beautiful new green called Shady Lane. Looks like a little bit of an olivey green. We got a couple of blues in. This one is called Paradise. And we also got in Bluebell. We got in a new purple Monarch. That looks like a gorgeous color. And we got in a couple yellows. We hadn't had those in before. This one is called Cheerful. And it certainly is a cheerful color. And then this one is a little bit deeper. This one is called Golden Meadow and has a little bit more of kind of an orangey brown tone to it. So I'm really excited to have those new inks in. All right, that is all I have to share with you today. I hope you have a great evening and we look forward to seeing you soon. Goodbye.